something horrible has happened. The hell you say? <laughs> that was Dad. He and Mom had this big fight, and now Mom left and he can't find her. Did he look behind the Rockies? <laughs> Excuse me, oink boy. But aren't you the least bit concerned about your mother-in-law's whereabouts? Oh, I know where the blubbering beast stuff blow. Where? It's your mother, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Otto! Hey! Oh. Oh. <laughs> your home still looks like a filth hole. <laughs> Beautiful home. Oh. And Millie, Elena, Edie. And Peggy, with the triplets, you know. You, you look fabulous. Oh. Oh. Where's Mom? Oh, we're going to have to leave her in the sun until she heats up and gets slippery. <laughs> that way, we won't have to damage the truck getting her out. <laughs> Somebody left the WD 40 at home. Somebody didn't put it on the list. How am I doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Now, listen, before the Festival of the Inbred starts, I want everybody to know that Hondo will be coming on. During Hondo, there will be no belly butting, no spitting for distance, and no one running around with underwear on their heads. We could have gone to a hotel. Hey, look who's here. Uncle Irwin! Otto. <laughs> Uncle Otto. Oh, you look great. And you, my darling, I could sell you. <laughs> Let me tell you what the going rate is. <laughs> As you can see, Bud hasn't changed a bit. Same wit, same zit, same underwear. <laughs> well, now that we're all together, how about a hootenanny? Oh. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No hootenanny. See, I forgot to put that on the list. Oh. You are my son. Too late, Al. My only son. You make me happy. When skies are gray. When skies are gray. Listen, since the wives are downtown feeding Christmas dinners to the homeless, shouldn't we be down at the nudie bar feeding dollars to the topless? Yeah. <laughs> Great idea! To the nudie bar! Yes! <laughs> Where Christmas is nice! And lap dancers are half price! <laughs> at the nudie bar! Where you drink down the shooters and unwrap the hooters! <laughs> Where eggnogs are plenty. And the girls are all 20. <laughs> I recognize those voices. Butcher Boy, Psycho Cop, Hot Pants, Ken Doll, Shoehorn. It's me, Butter. God, yeah. that was really something. Thanks, Ephraim. Uh, see ya. See ya? What do you mean, see ya? Well, we're going back to the house and collect your wife. Oh, I'm not going to do that, Al. Well, what do you mean you're not going to do it, Ephraim? Didn't I prove to you that I'm a real man? Yeah, but you also proved that uh, I'm not one. And until I can be a man just like you, 
I don't deserve a little bride like Mama. <laughs> Wait a second, Ephraim. I mean, you're the most courageous man I know. Why, why you've seen that woman naked and you, you're still around to tell about it. <laughs> hey, I seen her in a nighty one time. My pupils are still dilated. <laughs> Those are kind words, Al, but I know when I'm licked. Yeah, I'll come back for Mama sometime. And in the meantime, you just remember, she needs nine squares a day. <laughs> I knew we should have killed him in the woods when we had the chance. Mom, I'm so glad you called. How's everything going, honey? It's terrible. I've got a huge pimple. Actual Bud Bundy growing from my forehead. <laughs> well, you know, Uncle Sticky's getting out of the pen today. He wanted to make you up a batch of his pimple potion? I thought Uncle Sticky's potion is what got him sent to prison in the first place. It did. But I thought you were desperate. No, 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 I am, I am. How soon can you get it here? Tomorrow. Cousin Zemo is running a truckload of illegal fireworks to Peoria. I'll just have him drop it off in the morning. Cool. You want to talk to Grandma? Sure. <laughs> Even dream about it, Zemus. So where's the dog? <laughs> uh, by the way, what's with that line? What do you do? Tie it to your front porch to make sure you can find your way home? <laughs> no, it's for our youngest child. We believe in giving the boy a little freedom. That way, if he feels all cooped up in the Winnebago, he can gallop alongside of us down the highway. <laughs> Folks, meet little Seven. Well, why'd you pick that name? Because we had one, two, three, four, five, seven kids. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to your cousin. Oh, hello. Is that the one who's going to give me money? Yeah, that's the rich one. Mm. Go bond with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Peg, I hate it when your mom weebles down here for... <laughs> Her little midnight snacks, which last till nine in the morning. Mom does not eat between meals. Oh, no, Peg, because in order to eat between meals, the first meal has to end. Hal, don't you know how traumatic this is for me? I now come from a broken home. As do I. Don't give Mom a break. She's distraught. She is humongous. <laughs> I'm just retaining water. <laughs> the Hoover Dam is retaining water. <laughs> She's retaining Skittles. <laughs> Did someone say Skittles? <laughs> well, I don't want to come from a broken home. Mom said she'd take Dad back if he'd come here and apologize. Please, go to Wanker County and bring my daddy home. Please. Hey, you know I hate going to Wanker County. I can end up as pie filling. <laughs> Did someone say pie filling? <laughs> On the other hand, the same thing could happen upstairs. Okay, I'll go. For the 37th time, Bundy, do you take this woman to be your wife? <laughs> For the 37th, 8th, and 9th times, no, no, no. Come on, Al. It's not like we're really getting married. We're just renewing our vows. Besides, Dad's got you covered. <laughs> just like old times, eh? <laughs> Only this time, the, the gun is loaded. <laughs> And so am I. Well, Bundy. I'm not saying it. The drunken old hillbilly's gonna have to kill me before I say it again. Say what? I do. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs>